happy December. I hope all is well and that you are finding lots of great tunes to play. Uh, I know I am, in particular uh, the tune that I've decided to share with you this month. I found um, not even two days ago. I just got back from almost two months of concert touring uh, all over the United States and Scotland. Um, lots of really high energy music on our tours and when I got home to Boston I wanted something new and simple and beautiful and soaring to play, uh, almost like a palate cleanser <laughs> after all the high energy stuff on the road. Um, and so I found this tune uh, in one of my uh, Irish tune collections. This is a traditional Irish jig and um, I've fallen in love with it, so I thought maybe you would too. It's a traditional Irish jig called the Highlander and it goes like this. listening only. I will see you next month, which will be next year uh, somehow. For those of you who like to learn tunes, stick around. I'll show you how to put that thing together. Um, as always, I will send out um, sheet music for the tune marked with all the ornaments and the bowings and everything we discuss in this video. Uh, so if you'd like that, make sure you go to my website uh, mariblack.com and jump on the email newsletter. I'll always send those out with the tune of the month. So, this tune is in A minor. Uh, so if you get your A minor scales and arpeggios ready to go, mostly arpeggios for this tune. Um, and it may sound super fancy when I play it through, but like many of the tunes we've done here uh, in previous months, it's actually a very simple tune made fancy through the use of a couple ornaments. But before we can put those ornaments in, let's learn the tune just by itself. I'm going to slow it down and take out all the decoration. Um, this tune is very patterned. Um, it's always in the A section. You're going to do three A minor things and then a G arpeggio. And then three A minor things and a G arpeggio. <laughs> so if you get lost, that's all you got to remember. Then of course it repeats two A's. Here's how it works. start on the note A, it starts on the E, which is the, the fifth of the A minor chord. But it does three times, da 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 then G major. Uh, that's a pretty common pattern for a lot of tunes where you'll find something is repeated three times and on the fourth it changes. So anytime you hear something like that, it will help your learning by ear. The B section does almost the same thing. Only instead of three A minor things, it's going to do three G things. Here's it goes. Two. 
arpeggio at the end of the three things, the fourth thing for both the A section and the B. I'll play the whole tune slowly, two A's, two B's, no ornaments, play along. to learn it through a couple more times now, go ahead and rewind the video. But I'm going to go on it and add some ornaments because that's what it needs to sound really Irish and awesome. Uh, when I played through it in performance mode at the beginning, I was really only using two kinds of ornaments and we've already done them both. The first is the Scottish flap. I know, I know, Scottish ornamentation, Irish too. Mm. Um, I'm kidding, you can totally do that. <laughs> the Scottish flap I'm doing right off the bat. If you remember from past tunes of the month of the Scottish flavor, the flap involves, if I'm on this open string, I'm just going to flick my third finger at the string and, re and release it. You don't hear any pitch, it's just the interruption in the string. Um, and right off the bat, I have three flaps in the A section. Flap. That's the whole first half of the A section. For the second half of the A and also the B, I'm going to switch ornaments and instead of a flap, I'm going to use an Irish roll, a five note Irish roll. If you want to sound Irish, this is the ornament for you. How it works, let's say we're going to roll this G, your second finger on the E string. Start on the G, you play the note, go to the note above, back to the note, note below, back to the note. Note up, note down, note. One, two, three, four, five. Five note Irish roll. Of course, like all ornaments, you do it so quickly, you might not even hear the pitch. So I'm starting on the note, and then roll, and stay the note. So it goes like this, note, blah, note. All right, there's a little interruption. You can roll any note you like on the fiddle. It's always note, above, note, below, note. So, back to the beginning of the A section with your flaps. Flap. 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 Switch to rolls. Roll the G. Roll the B. Irish and interesting and traditional and authentic. Um, 
as I spend more time with this tune, and remember it's only two days old for me, um, I will probably find other places to put different ornaments. Remember that any time you have a long note in a fiddle tune, a quarter note, or in this case a dotted quarter note, um, that represents time that you could slip an ornament in. So as you spend some time with this tune, do what I'm going to do. Experiment with putting ornaments in different places, different long notes. You might try all flaps. You might try all rolls. You might even try including a hammer-on or two from the, the tune in June that we did, the other Irish jig, Exhale. Um, you'll find that different ornaments speak to you in different places and it will evolve over time. So have fun exploring and then come find me on the road. We'll play this tune together and see how both our ornament styles have evolved. Thanks guys for hanging out and I'll catch you next month. Bye.